Good morning. Who should be trembling? Our reading today is at Jeremiah chapter 33, verses 4 to 9. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of this city and the houses of the kings of Judah, which have been pulled down to fortify against the siege mounds and the sword. They come to fight with the Chaldeans, but only to fill their places with the dead bodies of men whom I will slay in my anger and my fury, all for whose wickedness I have hidden my face from this city. Behold, I will bring it health and healing. I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. And I will cause the captives of Judah and the captives of Israel to return and will rebuild those places as at the first. I will cleanse them from all their iniquity by which they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquities by which they have sinned and by which they have transgressed against me. Then it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise, and an honor before all the nations of the earth who shall hear all the good that I do to them. They shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and all the prosperity that I will provide for it. So what's the situation? The armies of Babylon are surrounding Jerusalem. The king and the rich people, the main people of the kingdom of Judah, they're trapped inside their city. Why are the armies of Babylon there? Because the prophet of God, the servant Jeremiah and other prophets have urged and urged and urged the the people to return, to turn back to God. They haven't done it. Instead, they've gone along and and, uh, gone on their own pathway. Here they are without God's protection. Why are they without God's protection? Uh, Verse 5 really kind of nailed it down. Why are they trembling here in the city and even taking down whatever they can, whatever to bring to strengthen the the last defenses against the armies of Babylon? It's because of what we have in verse 5. They come to fight with the Chaldeans, but only to fill their places with the dead bodies of men whom I will slay in my anger and my fury, all for whose wickedness... I have hidden my face from this city. It's because of these wicked leaders. That's why the armies are there. That's why they're under siege. And here they are trembling and trying to find a few more things they can stack up to to hold back the armies. See, he's going to bring the city health and healing, but it will only be after he's removed these apostate leaders. These good-for-nothing, problematic unrepentant, won't listen to God, leaders among God's people. Those people are going to have to be removed. So the people, many will go away into captivity to Babylon. These rulers, many of them will die or go to captivity in Babylon. They'll be stripped away before God can really bring the healing that he wants. Who is leading and what's going on with the leaders of God's people is always really kind of a giant issue. It's, they've got to, there's got to be a certain amount of rightness going on there. That means there's grim outcomes ahead. So there's a surgery going on, and God is uh, doing the surgery right now. But the people are going to come back from captivity. They're going to return and rest and come back from from Babylon and be reestablished. And so there's the promise about how they'll be reestablished. Then it shall be to me a name, a joy, a praise, and an honor before all nations of the earth who shall hear all the good that I do to them. They shall fear and tremble. The nations of the earth will fear and tremble for the good that God does for his people. Right now, the people, the leaders especially, are fearing and trembling because really they've done wickedly and they haven't repented. But here we see that ultimately those who are opposed to God, opposed to his ways, those people will tremble for the good that God does for his people. Let's be careful. Let's pray for our leaders. If our leaders are wrong, let's readjust the leaders and let's have people who are on God's side so we don't get into a case like this. Hey, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, sometimes we're the problem. Lord, give us a heart to repent. Please watch over your people. Please help us so that we can actually appoint leaders who are your servants. Let's bring up some leaders that are right. Please, Lord, we pray you will do this. Don't give us the kind of government we, we deserve, but please find leaders for us that will bring us up higher spiritually. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. So the wicked are trembling, uh, but trembling can be a good thing. Trembling should lead us actually to true repentance. God be with you in all that you do this day.